okay guys today we are going to start with the part 2 of physical quantities and uh, measurement so before i start part 2 i request you guys to please rewatch part 1 if it is uh, possible or in case you forget any part of it okay so it will be very helpful if you watch part 1 again so that you can understand part 2 better okay so let's start okay guys so today we are going to start with uh, example 4 which is uh, an empty RD bottle has a mass of 25.25 gram. So we have uh, first uh, we have an empty RD bottle. Okay. So this is empty and the mass is 25.25 gram. Okay. When it is filled with water, the bottle has a mass of 55.75 gram. So when it is filled with water it becomes 55.75 gram means mass of this empty bottle plus mass of water is 50.75 so what will be the mass of water so mass of water becomes sorry mass of water becomes 55.75 minus 25.25 right the mass of an empty bottle is 25.25 when water is poured into the bottle the mass becomes 55.75 so the mass of water what the mass of water plus bottle minus mass of the empty bottle how much do we get 30.5 gram clear now when it is filled with alcohol the mass becomes 45.5 gram so when it is filled with alcohol alcohol water and this is empty so when it is uh, filled with alcohol the mass becomes uh, 45.5 45.5 gram so what will be the mass of alcohol that is 45.5 minus the mass of the empty bottle which is 25.25 and it becomes 20.50 gram sorry actually it becomes 20.25 gram now the first part of the question says what would be the volume of the bottle okay say this when uh, the bottle is empty and when i am pouring some water into it it takes the shape of the bottle right that means the volume occupied by the bottle and the volume occupied by the water is same so if i can find out the volume of water we can easily find out the volume of the bottle that may, uh, because the volume of uh, the bottle and the volume of water is same so density of water density of water equals to mass of water by volume of water right as we know density equals to mass per unit volume so in cgs as we have a gram over here we have to take the cgs unit so that is why density of water is how much density of water is how much in cgs which is one gram per centimeter cube right now what is the mass of water what is the mass of water this is the mass of water 30.5 so let's write 30.5 now v w v w is what volume of water now it is a, a basic calculation that is volume of water becomes 30.5 as one comes in the denominator and it becomes 30.5 centimeter cube right and volume as volume of water is same with the volume of the bottle that means 30.5 centimeter cube becomes the volume of that bottle now the second part says we need to find out the relative density of alcohol what relative density 
of alcohol now we know that the volume of water when poured into the same bottle with uh, when alcohol is poured into the same bottle that means the volume is going to be same with the water and as we studied earlier that when the volume becomes uh, same with water in case of finding relative density then relative density sorry relative density will be the ratio of their masses that means relative density will be the ratio of the masses ratio of the unknown substance which is alcohol over here so what will be the mass of alcohol which is 20.25 that means you write 20.25 and uh, what will be the mass of water that is 30.5 okay so 30.5 so if you calculate this you will get 0. 6, 6. again i'm saying this relative density is unitless that's why we are not putting any kind of unit over here so this is how you find the relative density of alcohol now the third part of the question asks that what would be the density of alcohol so as we have already found out the relative density of alcohol we can directly put into the formula that means relative density of alcohol equals to density of the unknown substance here the unknown substance is what density of alcohol that means density of alcohol by density of water right so relative density of alcohol we have already found out which is 0 0.66 0 0.66 density of alcohol is how much we need to find out that means d of al and density of water what is the density of water in CGS which is 1 gram per centimeter cube now the basic calculation you find out density of alcohol equals to 0 0.66 into 1 that means 0 0.66 gram per centimeter cube now this is the whole sum okay this is your final answer which is the density of alcohol is 0 0.66 gram per centimeter cube so our next topic is hydrometer what do we do with a hydrometer a hydrometer is used to measure the relative density of liquid but how let's see uh, let's draw a schematic diagram of a hydrometer a, hydro a typical hydrometer looks like this and generally uh, it is made of glass this is a hollow tube and uh, the bottom part is a bit wider and it looks like this okay let's adjust the board okay so a typical hydrometer looks like this this is the hollow portion and uh, in this hollow portion the reading is taken the numerical reading is taken in this hollow part okay let's say this is uh, 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.3 and so on and some kind of weight is kept over here because when it is lowered into a fluid it makes it upright it helps it to stand upright okay now how do we measure the relative density of a liquid with the help of a hydrometer suppose we have a beaker suppose we have a beaker and uh, we have a fluid which is over here now this is the uppermost layer of the liquid so we have to check where the uppermost layer of the liquid matches with the hydrometers numerical value it matches 0 0.8 over here 
so 0 0.8 is going to be its relative density of that liquid now if the density is less the hydrometer will go down or deeper I say and if the density is more it can't go down or deeper if the density of the liquid is less it will go down as it goes down see the water level which match somehow in this range that means the relative density lowers as it goes down but if the density is more then it can't go down and the relative density will be more so So a uh, hydrometer is commonly used to test the purity of milk and this type of uh, hydrometer is called a lactometer. This is uh, all about it. So next topic is uh, flotation and uh, sinking. So in order to understand this topic we need to have uh, three conditions. So let's draw it. Suppose we have a container which is filled with liquid. which is filled with liquid and this is the uppermost layer of that uh, particular liquid let's say uh, the density of liquid is dl and we have an object like let's say we have a ball uh, the density of that ball let's say it's db now Flotation and sinking like if I throw that ball into that particular liquid will it float or will it sink or what will happen to the ball this solely depends on their densities okay if the density of the ball is greater than the density of the liquid if the density of the ball if the density of the ball is greater than the density of the liquid it will sink like uh, the place of the ball will be here okay so and if the density of the ball is less than the density of the liquid if the density of the ball is less than the density of the liquid then the ball will float okay and if the density of the ball if the density of the ball is equals to the density of the liquid when they are equal when the when both the densities are equal the place of the ball will be over here okay these are the conditions of flotation flotation and sinking depending on their densities okay Okay, so our next next topic is variation of density with temperature how density is uh, varying with the increment or decrement of temperature or we increase or decrease the temperature now if i talk about a solid now if i talk about a solid object okay and if i increase the temperature a solid hardly expands a solid hardly expands with the increase of temperature so if I increase the temperature the density the density of that particular solid doesn't vary with the temperature so as there is no extension or a solid doesn't ex expand when we increase the temperature but in case of liquid in case of liquid and gas when we increase the temperature when we increase the temperature in case of liquid and gas when we increase the temperature the density decreases that means in case of liquid and gases in case of liquids and gases temperature is inversely proportional to the density okay our next topic is uh, convection current what is convection current suppose we have a container filled with a liquid and we put heat over here okay okay this is fire okay don't laugh so 
this part this part of the liquid of that particular liquid being heated up the density of this portion of that liquid becomes less right when the density becomes less or when it becomes less dense it will go upward okay and the cold region becomes heavy or which is heavier than this part and it comes downwards and this is a circular movement which goes on and on and on until we take off the heat right now this phenomena is known as convection current and you have to remember one thing that convection current is set up because of the difference in the densities of different layers of fluids okay okay guys so this is the end of the this is the end of the second part of physical quantities and measurement as all the theory all the theories written in your book is explained so i hope you go through the video very carefully and minutely to understand each and every part of it and soon we'll start the third part of the chapter where we are going to solve some numerical problems regarding that chapter okay bye